Carson here with head coach Rocky White of the South Mech Sabres. Coach, uh, talk to us a little bit about your offseason and how it went. Matt, uh, offseason's been uh, been outstanding. We uh, we split it up. We do uh, strength and, and uh, you know, our strength work in the weight room on Mondays and Wednesdays. And then uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do our speed and agility stuff. Uh, we've had uh, 85 to 90 guys in here every day. Wow. So uh, we've, awesome. been, we've been real excited. Great, man, great. Uh, this is your fifth year here. Um, talk about how you've turned this program around from where it was to where it is now. I think it's just like you, know, you, you see happen anywhere. Number one, we, we brought stability to the program. We've been able to keep uh, our, our staff together for the most part. Uh, guys that have left have left for better opportunities. Uh, you know, so that, that's to me that's the key component. Number two, uh, I've been able to bring in people that I hope. Uh, you know, mirror what I try to mirror. Uh, they come in, they work hard. Uh, the young men know they're in it, not just for wins and losses. They're, they're in it to try to help them get to the next level. Uh, the third thing is we've had some outstanding players, you know. Uh, we're all better coaches when, uh, <laughs> when we got the Jimmys and the Joes. Amen we've had some that. pretty good Jimmys <laughs> and, and Joes. And, uh, all right, Coach, so talk about uh, some of your key players you got coming up for this season. Well, uh, offensively, absolutely, our key player is Antonio Wallace. A Antonio is, is the uh, all-time passing percentage leader here at the school. Oh, that's uh, awesome. You know, when he got hurt last year, halftime of our sixth game against Barry, uh, we were undefeated at the time. Antonio had thrown 14 touchdowns and only uh, three interceptions. Uh, so uh, keeping him healthy is, is key for us. He's a, he's a very good leader. He's a very cerebral uh, quarterback. I, I think he's the most underrated, uh, not only quarterback in the state, but the uh, most underrated player in the state. Uh, he's put up some great numbers here. And it's not like we, we've you know, thrown a lot of pro prolific type of offenses out there. He's just really come in and done a great job for us. So uh, I think Antonio, number one's key. Uh, Travis Prince at running back. I, I look for Travis to have a breakout senior season. Uh, you know, young guys at wide receiver uh, losing Chance and Moye out there is, is going to be a big one for us. But we got some young guys who have some talent. It's just a matter of them stepping up because Antonio is obviously going to get them the ball. Oh yeah. Uh, Adam Ziegler, uh, Jordan McKinney, Solomon Ojana, uh, and and I tell you a real surprise young man. Uh, the kind of guy that really makes you proud of where your program is. We got a young man named Donnie Booth. Okay. Uh, and uh, well, I call him Booth, but Donnie Bowen. Uh -huh. But uh, Donnie has done a fabulous job working hard. I think he's going to catch a lot of balls for us this year. Awesome. Offensive line, we've only got two uh, seniors up there: Frankie Gonzalez and and Nick Wilson. Uh, we've got a really uh, a lot of young guys that have worked hard and uh, may take some time. But um, by the time we get to conference, I think that'll be a solid group. Uh, defensively, obviously Jake Lawler up front. Oh, yeah. uh, Jake's a big time player, big time energy. Uh, Jake's the whole package. You know, he's the reason why you coach. Guys come to work every day, come to school every day, they do the things they're supposed to do. And uh, so he's a lot of fun to be around and, and has done a fabulous job for us. Jordan Lunsford, another two year starter up front. Uh, he's, a, he's another underrated young man, expect him to have a big year. Uh, but then we got some positions up front that we got to fill. So uh, right, we're right. hoping Michael Baker, uh, Cam, uh, Cameron Mack, and uh, then some of these young guys. We've got some good looking ninth graders that may have to step up and play early up there. Linebacker core, uh, really a strong point for us. Holden Parker. Oh, yeah. Uh, Best 5'10", 180-pound linebacker around. Guy makes nothing but tackles. Uh, offensive, I'm sure they think he's the biggest pest on the field. because <laughs> he, He's causing issues everywhere he goes. Uh, Marcus Gerald, uh, this will be Marcus' second year starting. Uh, outstanding player, quick, strong, makes a lot of things happen. And then a guy that I think is one of the most physical players around is, is D'Angelo Blair Young. D'Angelo's oh, got yeah. a lot of touches. Yeah. Uh, on offense, but
but uh, man, he's, he's a 600 pound squatter. Wow. Uh, he's he's a he's a future D1 guy. So uh, awesome. I think he's going to have a really big year for us. Secondary wise, we're, we've replaced both our corners. Uh, you know, Jacoby moved on, and mm -hmm. and uh, you know, John Brandon's uh, up in Western Carolina. So both of those guys, D1 guys. So we're re replacing them with uh, Jazeer Staten, who's a junior, big kid, very athletic. And with uh, Jalen Weddington, Jalen's coming over from Vance, was a starter at Vance. Okay. And uh, he's a very physical player, and he fits right into our system with what we're trying to do over here. So I think both of those guys have great years. We've got uh, two undersized uh, safeties mm -hmm. that do nothing but daggum make plays back there. And, uh, you know, Josh McNeely is sort, of sort of our quarterback on defense. Okay. Uh, got a real chance. If he had two more inches and about 20 pounds on him, he'd be recruited by everybody in the country. Wow. And, uh, best wow. fundamentals, best technique to anybody around. And Nigel Brown. Nigel brings, uh, he brings a load and uh, made a lot of big plays for us last year. So we're excited about that whole defense. We only gave up a little over 10 points a game last year. And uh, don't see any reason why that's a change now. Special team-wise, uh, you know, once again, uh, we're lucky to have uh, – Jonathan Doerr, yeah, uh, better known yeah. as Red. Red's committed to uh, to Maryland, University of Maryland. That's that big. That tells you, you know, anytime you get a kicker that's uh, got uh, D1 offers, that lets you know how huge that really is. And uh, so no that's doubt. big for him. But, uh, you know, he's a, he's a weapon kickoff-wise, putting the ball in for touchbacks. Uh, you know, he's had 12-plus uh, 40-yard field goals in his career. Wow. And uh, he's going to pump for us this year. He's taking over for AJ. So uh, look for a lot of big things out of him. Awesome, man. That's a lot of talent right there on one one uh, team. Well, we're excited, Matt. We're, we've come a long way. Uh, like I say, I think the program's in good shape. And uh, with this uh, ninth grade class, uh, I think it's just going to get bigger and better. So what's your goal for this year? Uh, our goal for this year is to win the uh, win the conference, get into playoffs, make a big push in the playoffs, and uh, you know we'd love to fight our way to win a state championship. I think if you talk to your team about doing anything other than winning a state championship, uh, your goals really are not uh, where they need to be. So we, right. you know, are we at that stage yet? You know, we, we think our schedule is going to let us know real quick where we are. Oh yeah. But uh, we're we're excited about it. We think. We think what our schedule will do is build us toward the playoffs. Right. Uh, we've right. been six and one, seven and zero oh, going into the Catholic game the last two years. Uh, it didn't end up doing, you know, finishing like we wanted to. Right. So our whole thing has been set up. Let's let's get to the point where we can finish this thing. So uh, we'll see how the plan works out. Well, coach, we'll be watching, man. I'm, I'm expecting big things from you. Got it. Got you ranked number four in our little poll that we do, and uh, we appreciate the time. Matt, you and Dale and Carolina Varsity is fabulous for high school uh, sports, so we really appreciate you guys. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate you.